one of my favorite brands, if you watch the vlog, you know, Tip Top Canned Cocktails, ready to drink. They just launched a new flavor today, and we are gonna open this just two days before it comes out. So you're seeing this Tuesday, filming this Sunday, and we're gonna try to predict what this surprise cocktail is. Listen up, everybody! Someone's got to slow their roll, okay? I don't know what you're talking about. Trying to read into the brand in, like, this is like a booth, like a kind of a nice, kind of like sitting in a wooded bar, maybe a steakhouse. Oh, what's in the box? Like leathery, something dark. What's in the fucking box? I think it's gonna be whiskey or bourbon based. It feels like Tip Top always sticks to the seasons really well. They understand the content calendar. I feel like it's gotta be, if it's not a bourbon or a whiskey, I think it's a dark, dark rum. Like a dark and stormy? Yeah, I just love that we don't know. I know. I can't even think of other like whiskey cocktails. I'm so excited. <gasps> oh. Whiskey, vermouth, red bitters, the Boulevardier. How do you say it? Boulevardier. 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 It is usually said as Boulevardier. <laughs> Boulevardier from French. Boulevardier. Yeah. That is just so clean, dude. Oh my god. So pretty. We Looks were like right. A whiskey and Negroni. Yeah. Rocks glass, large ice cubes. Cherry. Dried cherry, tobacco, orange, and grapefruit zest with baking spice. 29% alcohol by volume. Sophistication. Sophisticated mama. Mm, sophisticated mama. The middle sibling of a Negroni and a Manhattan. When you want a cocktail, it's going to encourage adventure with a twist of the unexpected. Ooh. Pour from the can over a large ice cube in a rocks glass. I mean, come on. I love that. Come the on. Boulevardier. They don't miss. They don't, it's properly boozy. Oh, I love that. I think that's better than their old fashioned, which I, I can't believe agree. I'm saying. Wow. Look at just the beautiful color on this thing. Have you ever had one of these at a bar? No, didn't even know what it was. Just when I think you couldn't possibly be any dumber. I've definitely ordered one at a bar and I feel like I have a very particular taste for vermouth. Whatever Tip Top uses is a vermouth that I very much enjoy. Yeah. I've some bad one of these. Oh my God. I, it's now that I've been getting more and more into cocktails, it's insane how much the vermouth matters. Oh my God, I love that. I, that's very instantly lovely. top three for me. I like it a lot. It tastes like a perfect fall day. I think their Negroni, their Jungle Bird, and their Bouvardier are my favorites. I also love the Gin Martini. And the Espresso Martini. I also really, really like the Bee's Knee. God, they don't miss. This is really well balanced. That perfect amount of sweetness. Nice job, T-squared. One company shouldn't be so good at making something. <laughs> Cheers. You can snag these below if you'd like. He's losing his mind. And I'm reaping all the benefits. If you're here for food, food we shall make. Velveeta skillets. Never in my life have I ever had a Velveeta skillet. And today, it's the Philly cheesesteak style skillet. Let's go. Today's video brought to you and funded by the Rory Boyle Fan Club. Five bucks a month. Link is below to join it. Supports the vlog. Keeps them coming and you get your name on screen. And those folks, keeping this the real real. This has cheese sauce with pasta seasonings and green pepper in it, ready in 20 minutes. Kind of an elevated, if you will, hamburger helper. One pound of ground beef, going in. Velveeta cheesy skillets, Harold. It's what your skillet is for. Liquid go. <laughs> Honor the cast iron covenant to smite your family's hunger from Velveeta Cheesy Skillet's dinner kits. Yes. Calm down. It's just boxed process. This is nice and brown. Let's drain this grease. Two cups of water. Bag of noodles and crumbs, <laughs> add this. And then what I'm assuming is Philly cheesesteak seasoning. Oh, 
crank the heat up on this, give it a stir. Rory, that is a lot of people. I'm having a Saturday night right on a Tuesday afternoon. Gonna use this like Captain America's shield and just block that away. We're gonna, nope, we're gonna put that down to low and cover for, what is it, nine to 11 minutes. <sighs> Who just touched my nonstick? Time is up, pop the top, oh yeah. Most of that water has dissipated. Turn off this heat, throw this on here. And then we're gonna take our liquid gold. In this case, it's white cheese, so it's liquid white. <laughs> I wouldn't call it that, personally. But this is what keeps the lights on at Velveeta, just a bag of goo. Every last drop, as you probably guessed, stir it in. It smells good in here. Have you guys ever had Velveeta skillets? Are there any flavors that are like the go-to's? Let me know. Give it a little scoop here. And just like that, in 20 minutes, a Velveeta skillet, a Philly cheesesteak in a bowl without the bread, noodles instead. Currently at my grocery store, $3.79 for a skillet. You gotta have beef though. So then you add a couple bucks, some good steam on there. This is gonna be a comfort meal without ever having had it. All right, Rory Boyle fan club, thanks to you. Yep, it's just like so salty and creamy and meaty. It's like making a casserole on your stovetop in 20 minutes. Not like a big snap, but like, like okay. All right, not bad. Worth it, mm-hmm. These green peppers in the photo, that is not what they look like in real life. Yeah, I think you gotta get your own green pepper. <laughs> big beef stroganoff vibes. This to me was like such a 90s dinner, like family dinner. Like we didn't have these specifically, but this just in general feels very like 1997, sitting at my dining room table and just smashing two plates or bowls of this. You're familiar without being familiar. You're unfamiliar. But your family. There's always room for family. It's really rich and creamy. Like, that is really nice. Mm-hmm. We got it done, son. I polished off that whole first one already, but I can't get over the branding. These are so, so sick. You should buy some, 10% off on that link below if you want them. I'm just so hooked. Like I reached out to them like months ago. I was like, look, I don't even know if you do anything with influencers. I love your products. <laughs> Try them out. So good. There's times I'll go to Italian restaurants. You know, the markup is so high. You'll spend so much money getting like some wine and some spaghetti. And you'll eat it and you're like, that was good. And the bill's like $78. And you're like, I know it's probably frowned upon to say this, but I would have saved a lot of money and probably been just as happy just making hamburger helper. <laughs> <laughs> like some Italian restaurants kill it, some just slip on by. If you guys have anything else that is like at the grocery store that I have to get that's a favorite of you and your family, I like these flat little noodles. The Venmo, the Cash Up, the PayPal. If you want to donate to the show and have me eat something and have an episode all made possible because of you. Rory Boyle, completely inappropriate today as usual, but you know, it <laughs> all worked out okay. I like this more than I should. I'm gonna get out of here. Once again, let me know. Have you had these skillets? I'm curious about the other ones. The cheeseburger, like, hamburger one kind of seems. <laughs> cheeseburger, hamburger, cheeseburger, hamburger. Cheeseburger! Cheeseburger, 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 four Pepsi, two cheap. Cheeseburger! My first ever Velveeta skillet up. My first ever Velveeta skillet. Down. I'm gonna smash, I'm gonna smash this. You've heard me say it before, but, I mean, it's a lot of bad, but be good to each other. This is one of the goods.